So the first step is chemo attraction or sperm attraction and today we discuss detail on acrosome reaction that is second step of siachin external fertilization so acrosome reaction what is acrosome acrosome reaction so what is acrosome reaction interactions between sperm and egg jelly initiate acrosome reaction interaction so interaction between sperm and egg jelly sperm and egg jelly initiates acrosome reaction initiate acrosome reaction now so when the sperm membrane when actually not sperm membrane when sperm contacts with egg jelly there are certain structures that structure binds with specific receptor present on the sperm cell membrane leads to fusion of acrosomal membrane with the sperm cell membrane now we die we can easily understand diagrammatically so this is the head portion of c archin sperm this is the head portion of c archin sperm this portion is nucleus so this is nucleus this is the nucleus this portion is nucleus sperm head portion now this actin actin filament this is actin these are binding protein that binding protein help in binding with vital and envelope of the egg and now the most important that is acrosomal membrane so this is acrosome and these are the enzymes present on acrosomal membrane these are some proteolytic enzyme or carbohydrate digesting enzyme that are present in acrosomal vesicle this is acrosomal membrane this is acrosomal membrane and this is sperm cell membrane acrosomal membrane and this is and the outer portion of the head this is sperm cell membrane sperm cell membrane this is acrosomal membrane now when fucose in case of crc in the actually actually contain a special type of structure that is called fucose sulfate now this few the fucose sulfate bind with specific receptor present on sperm mem sperm membrane leads to fusion of acrosomal membrane with the sperm membrane 
now in the second step this acrosome fused with sperm now so this is the actin globular actin filament this portion is nucleus haploid nucleus this is haploid nucleus this portion is globular actin and these are the binding that helps binding of sperm with vitaline envelope and now acrosomal enzyme when the fusion of sperm cell membrane and acrosomal membrane occurs the acrosomal vesicle releases some proteolytic and enzyme these are some enzyme that are released and make a path through egg jelly make a path through egg jelly to the egg vital line envelope so these are some acro you can say acrosomal enzymes there are some proteolytic enzyme carbohydrate digesting enzyme proteasome that digest a path through egg jelly to the vital line envelope the next step there is another important phenomenon occur in acrosomal reaction that is formation of acrosomal process now formation of acrosomal process occur what is the formation of acrosomal process so this is the formation acrosomal process now this globular actin polymerize to form f actin fibrous actin or you can say uh, actin microfilament so this globular protein form actin microfilament this is haploid nucleus and this is actin actin microfilament micro filament this actin microfilament contain this binding species specific binding protein that binds with the specific site on vital line envelope this is the binding protein so this is the whole process of acrosomal reaction now fucose sulfate so as you can see fucose fucose sulfate now the point says fucose fucose sulfate sulfate on egg jelly on egg jelly binds with specific receptor on sperm cell membrane form cell membrane so fucose sulfate present on the egg jelly and this fucose substrate initiate acrosomal reaction when it binds with specific receptor present on palm cell membrane now this receptor which is present on the sperm cell membrane receptor activates 
three types of three types of palm cell membrane protein membrane protein so there are three important types of uh, proteins are present that are activated by the receptor when it binds with the fucose sulfate so first activation that is activation of calcium channel this is very important channel in the fertilization process so first that is calcium channel calcium channel so what is the role of the calcium channel the calcium channel allow allow ca2 plus calcium ion to enter sperm head so activated form of the calcium allow calcium that is present on the outside environment enter into the sperm head now the second that is sodium hydrogen exchanger sodium hydrogen exchanger 